Hallo, guten Tag, Deutsch Studenten. Hier ist Dr. Dettinger mit einem Video. Passive Voice. Welcome back, German students. Today we're going to focus on uh, the passive voice. This is just a short overview. Um, not going to get into too many examples. Um, I just want to show you the, the how the passive voice is set up. Okay, it's quite simple, um, and it's also very commonly used in German. But before we get to that, let's look at our active voice, right? The opposite of passive voice is active voice. So let's look at how this is broken down. For instance, ich wasche meinen Wagen, right? We have ich, the subject, meinen Wagen, the direct object, accusative. So ich, nominative, meinen Wagen, accusative. Okay, so we're going to change things up a little bit um, and consider this uh, passive voice sentence, right? So when we look at this though, ich, right? The subject is the one doing the action. Okay, whereas mein and wagen, the direct object is the recipient, the receiver of the doer's action. Okay, so we're going to make it into a passive voice by changing this receiver and making it now the subject. For instance, mein wagen wird gewaschen. My car is being washed. So now we eliminate ich. We eliminate the subject from that first example and we make the receiver into the subject mind. Wagen wird gewaschen. And you can see we have uh, two verbs here, werden, and then the past participle. So we're going to get into some of these details here. Okay, it's a passive voice example. Um, so look at these again. Ich wasche meinen Wagen. Active voice, passive voice being mein Wagen wird gewaschen. Okay, so we have in the passive voice the receiver of the action is in the nominative case, now the subject, okay? And then, as I mentioned before, the verb is waschen, now appears in the past participle, all right, and it's placed at the end. Werden is our verb one, okay, our helping verb or the auxiliary. Similar with word order, just as the present perfect, ich habe meinen Wagen gewaschen, for instance, or uh, a, with a modal verb, ich muss meinen Wagen waschen, okay? But in those examples, Wagen was the direct object. This passive voice, it changes a little bit. It's not the direct object. So, But the word order, though, is the same with you have, when you have two verbs. Werden is our verb one plus the past participle. Okay, um, just as I said there, that last bullet point. So let's look at a couple of examples. Um, and two, we also can add present tense and also simple past tense. So mein Wagen wird gewaschen, okay, present tense, versus mein Wagen wurde gewaschen. So the only change we have there is the conjugation of the verb werden in present tense, wird, and in simple past form, wurde. Gewaschen doesn't change, it stays the same, okay? Now, let's look at one more component, the agent, right? Mein Wagen wird gewaschen, okay? It's not saying who is washing the car, okay, or by whom, um, but we can, we can create a scenario where that happens then, okay? Okay, so what we use here is the date of preposition fun. There are other examples of prepositions that we can do, but right now I just want to focus on fun, for instance. Uh, mein Wagen wird von meinem Bruder gewaschen. Okay, my car is being washed by my brother. Von meinem Bruder. Okay, word order uh, for the Mein Wagen wird gewaschen still stays the same, right? Mein Wagen begins it. Wird is our verb two, our verb one, excuse me, in the second position. Gewaschen is still placed at the end, and now we just inserted this prepositional phrase von meinem Bruder. Okay, and as I mentioned, there are other prepositions we can use, uh, for instance, durch or mit, but I just want to focus on fun for right now. Okay, let's look at some more examples. Present tense, the Fenster werden geputzt. So now it's plural, die Fenster werden. Okay. Before it was mein Wagen wird, now we have a plural, die Fenster werden geputzt. Uh, and then, die Fenster werden von der Frau geputzt, being washed by the woman. Okay, 
looking at these in their simple past form, die Fenster wurden geputzt, and then die Fenster wurden von der Frau geputzt. So again, we're just changing the conjugation form of the verb werden. So um, now we'll have to apply uh, your knowledge of the past participle forms of these verbs, um, which is kind of a, a, a review of the, the present perfect um, or past perfect, but just that past participle of the verb. Now we're changing the helping verb, which is now werden, either in the present tense form or the simple past form. So, um, wenn Sie Fragen haben, bitte lassen Sie mich wissen. Das ist alles für dieses Video. Ich wünsche Ihnen einen schönen Tag noch. Danke. Tschüss.